And I, th I think one of, the, one of the, the most exciting things for me is uh, the passion that comes through, the enthusiasm of, of, of everybody that's here. And it's a unique opportunity, and I think Kaz is unique in this respect, in that you are getting the, 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 the fusion of enthusiasts at school level with some real subject experts. So we had some really amazing talks uh, this morning and this afternoon all about how to go about um, teaching people computer science. Um, and uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity since, you know, uh, Google are an excellent search engine company. Um, we're not really uh, expert educators, so rather than tell you how to teach computing, I mean, you already know that, um, I thought I'd speak a little about why we think we should be teaching computing. I was a teacher for five years before I went over to the tech world. I taught physics and neuroscience in the United States, and so I have huge respect and admiration uh, for the massive energy and changes that I've seen in computer science in the UK in the last two years has totally blown me away. This is absolutely a grassroots organization. As everybody says, there is no them, there is only us. It's what we do, and we are doing one hell of a lot. Nobody in the CAS world sits around and waits for things to change. Everybody just gets on and does their bit. I think the thing that I'm proudest about in CAS is that it's a grassroots organization of individuals, like the people in this room, who just care and want to make the world a better place. And, um, and the great thing is that if we all get together and, and work together in this, we are making the world a better place. Conference this year is fantastic. Um, you know, from the keynote this morning, the Brig and Bragg section, uh, session last night, um, the various workshops I've been to today, I've just, I've had, you know, I, I do a lot of computing stuff in my school. I've got a computing background, but the ideas I'm getting from the people, the, the techniques, the skills, the, the stuff I haven't thought of that I'm going away with is just fantastic. I'm here today to, to like, the Code Academy very much sees the same mission of um, getting computer science into more kids' hands. So they're not just consumers of technology, they're builders of technology. They're empowered, they understand how the technology that is a huge part of their life works and they know how to make more. It's of real benefit to, to those of us in the classroom to be able to mix and mingle and simply talk and gain ideas from those who've got a much deeper grounding in the subject than, than I ever have. I mean, I'm, I'm probably typical of, of many people in schools. I'm, I'm a non-specialist. I came into this almost by accident. I'm a, I'm a design and technology teacher by, by training. Um, and it's just wonderful to be able to pick up tips and, and rub shoulders with people who, 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 who know uh, a lot more about the, the, the subject than I do. For a long time, I had no contact directly with any teachers in any schools, and that has changed. It has changed radically. You know, there's um, teachers come to me; they feel you know they, they can find me. I can go to teachers. I can offer things. It has uh, changed the interaction with teachers fundamentally. There's a lot more happening now than there was before, and just because CAS as a platform exists to uh, to build it on. Um. Because uh, I think it's brilliant that you're doing what you're doing, because uh, I, you know, I wouldn't have a steady stream of high-quality undergraduates coming in if there wasn't a fantastic stream of teachers like you producing high-quality A-level students, and there wouldn't be high-quality A-level students if you weren't doing great stuff at GCSE as well. So uh, I think everything you've done, and, and the, the brilliant story that Simon told about uh, you know, the last year is just fantastic. So thank you for inviting me, and keep it up. No. You're already doing great things. Um, hopefully, we'll be there to, to support you. And um, thanks for everything you've done so far. If you see an organization that is basically a can-do, go-get-em organization that's going to jolly well change the world, you want to be part of that. And that's what CAS does. And that's what CAS says to everybody, which is why it gets so much excitement from companies and organizations and individuals and schools and universities and governments as well. So I'm going to go away and few spend the weekend reflecting on what, what I've learned. Um, and then on Monday morning next week, I can go in and, and share with my colleagues the things that I've picked up and start thinking about what I can do in September to make my students' experiences more positive and more useful for them. I think it, the, the, the opportunity is really there. It's up to us to grab hold of the opportunity and kind of hang on, you know, uh, uh, as it were, cash in the gains that we've got to make a decisive and lasting change. And so that means we just, each of us has to do it. Right? So, so you've got to not just work in your classroom, but do something external. Run a hack day, start a hub, go to a hub, join the flash meetings, um, you know, join the primary task force, whatever. You, only you can tell, but, but don't wait for anybody else to tell you to do it. Just get on and do it. And if we all do that, we'll, we'll change the world.